so welcome to my video today i'm going to be trying out the dior makeup what today i'm going to be trying out the dior skin forever foundation which i have on my face right now i got this little sample from a store here in norway called Kix, and i just got this little tester sample before i eventually were to buy it lily is right over there I'm just gonna see how I like it. I got the color 010. If you want to see what I think about the foundation, just keep on watching the video. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, mostly focusing on kind of the foundation today. I've already moisturized my face. I'm just putting a little bit of Nivea Men's Balm on. And also just to blur out my pores a little bit, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime Pore Minimizing. Now we are going to start with the foundation. So yeah, I'm just putting this foundation everywhere. Usually I like using a bl beauty blender. Usually I like using a beauty blender, but um, I have a small child, so it disappeared all three of them so I'm just using my Real Techniques brush I don't remember what kind of finish this was I think it was like kind of for all skin types so far it looks really pretty um what I noticed is that it kind of clings a little bit to my little baby hairs in my little baby mustache I only have this dinky ass little beauty blender so I'm just gonna tap that kind of just smooth it out a little bit I'm just gonna grab this contour stick from Rimmel, which I really like actually. And then I'm just gonna grab my concealer from also Maybelline, the Master Concealer in the color Fair. And then I'm just gonna use my foundation brush again to do the contour. usually don't use a lot of high-end makeup because I like the times that I bought something they just kind of disappoint me a little bit so I've just kind of stuck to um, drugstore yeah I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier secret brightening powder for my under eyes I don't usually like bake too much So to kind of set the rest of my face, I'm just going to use this Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay Skin Better What. So I'm just using this one again. And then I'm going to use the blush in this thing too. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly do my eyes and brows and stuff. I'm just going to set this with this crappy thing the only thing I do like is that it like it's not like it doesn't like spit at you um so I'm gonna leave this on of course I'm not gonna take it off right now but I'm gonna leave it on for a couple hours and then I'll check back in see how I like it so I wouldn't say it's like a super full coverage. It is lightweight, which I do like. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like super full coverage because my skin is normally all right. Like all in all, I do think it's all right. I don't know if I would pay 50 bucks for it um, when I can use my Maybelline Smooth and Luminous that I really like and that looks pretty we're gonna head out um, and I'll check back in when I get back and also right before I take the makeup off probably so this is what the foundation looks like and it's all right but I don't like it I've worn it for 10 hours now so it's not bad but it's not worth the price but it's okay it's pretty that's my final thoughts I love this ring light though Oof. 
Sally are doing well. Fuck okay. 